back to Project Crypto. My name is Chase. Today is Monday, April 19th of 2021. And today we're going to look at Ethereum. Ethereum versus Bitcoin and also Ethereum versus the US dollar. So let's go ahead and start it out. Uh, Ethereum USD on the daily chart. As you can see, we've had a few days of red. Uh, we've had a nice quick wick underneath our 21. Just didn't quite touch our 50. Good sign because look at our previous drops. This one, let's look at this. Uh, about, what, 12% 12, 12 below the green? That's our 50-day moving average EMA. The next drop, about 7%. Now we didn't even get to it. So maybe the drops are getting a little bit less harsh. Maybe that is a good pattern to watch for if we move up again and come back down. Maybe the next time we only go to our yellow 21-day EMA. So patterns like that can be helpful in identifying our next moves up and down. So far, I would expect this to hold our 21-day EMA, which is at currently about 21.55. If we continue down, this move will change. These lines change. That's what EMAs do. They're exponential moving averages. They will change with time. And as you can see, if you would just watch those over on the left, they will change as we're even speaking. Uh, but if we come back down here, 2150, I would watch that level uh, for a daily close. But a, a wick we can go through anytime. Wicks don't really even matter. You want to look for your daily closes, your body closes. And the red candles are going to close on the bottom. Green candle closes are on the top. So that's important to remember if you're new. So if we come back down here, we want to hold the 2150-ish level with a daily close. So far, so good. We're looking, we're looking great. I think we are going to see higher highs with Ethereum in the coming weeks. So let's go up a little bit and zoom out, and zoom out on the bigger scale. Look at our moving averages here. Big separation equals big moves. On the three-day chart, looking even better. Just two steps up, one step back, and we can continue this pattern. Look at all these. You have some steps up, consolidation back, keep moving. Consolidation back, move up, back. That's how great moves work. Come back, retest your 21 EMA line again. Make another move. Come back, hold it again. Make another move. If we come back, this one is down a little bit lower on a three-day. So this would be our next level if we are unable to hold that 21 day at 2150. Remember that? So now we're, we'd be looking at around the $1,900 level if we break under that. So let's zoom out even more and see if we can find anything else. Now we're on the weekly chart. Now you can see how high we're above we are. The 21 week EMA, we're still over 40% above that. So what, since we're so high above this, sometimes you need another moving average to see kind of better gauge uh, because this isn't really helping us much, right? Uh, we're, we're 21 week is now at 1565. This will continue to move up week over week, but if you put on your eight week, which we use a lot with Bitcoin on a weekly, weekly time scale only is really where this uh, helps a little bit. But you can see we've not spent more than one week under here and it's been very short term. If we did, there's a wick, there's, we closed under it, not a huge deal as this is just a, kind of a, more of a temporary uh, something like kind of a warning flag, so to speak. So. You can see it's held quite well. If you pull this up on Bitcoin, Bitcoin has not even been below it yet since October. But we could talk about that in another video. But pull this up and I would expect this to hold. If it doesn't hold for one week and we like say, uh, see we're on a weekly chart. So if for some reason this week we closed under it, next week would be really important because we haven't had two weeks close under it and since back in here. September, right? So that would be a key warning sign to watch for in the short term. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be doing that unless there's uh, just just a massive sell-off in Bitcoin, uh, which I don't see. I think, uh, you know, the, the liquidated longs, which is what caused the majority of that crash uh, the other day. Uh, over a million people got liquidated. So if you don't know about that, that's kind of what the gist of it was. Over $10 billion and people using leverage long long open position so the bad for those people that's why you don't use leverage i think i made a video even before all that happened last week 
uh, with my voice sounding terrible and put up the quote with Warren Buffett about leverage. So leverage is not good. Smart money doesn't need it and dumb money shouldn't use it. So which, there's no option. There's no other option. Which one are you? So that's that's what I got for you on Ethereum USD. Now let's go look at Ethereum Bitcoin. All right, this is Ethereum Bitcoin on the weekly time scale. Big zoom out. Look at what we've done. This is going back about four years here. And now look at our 21 week. Look how it's grinded up here. Broke back through the 50 week and broke back through the 100 week. We're starting to sort these out. So on a big scale, this is a good, good, good sign uh, for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. So let's zoom in and see if we see anything else. Now we have our 200. Uh, EMA in there uh, and we're look we're currently just bounced off of the 50 great sign and we're starting to sort these out now we have least to greatest remember when you have your big moves you have your least to greatest moving averages in order we've just done that we now have our 21 50 100 just crossed the 200 excellent sign for ETH BTC on the daily even better look at this now we're starting to even separate with the moving averages sorted least to greatest look at these moves that can ensue after you do this great great moves after these are in order say right here right we'll start at the bottom and then look at that move 53 percent in 22 days great sign look at these moves when your moving averages start sorting out it's been a while it's been, I mean, since the beginning, we had that move against Bitcoin at the at the beginning of the year. And then we've it's been since just really the last week of January, we started flipping around and got tangled up again. But looking back, you could see that we're on a big uptrend since 2020 on a bigger scale. Look at this. So hopefully we're in for another continued move up. Going back to the weekly time scale on ETHBTC, we had our first weekly close above here. There's our second weekly candle confirming again. Remember what I said, if you have two weekly candles confirm, your trend is reversing and you can expect this to continue. I would expect Ethereum to continue these moves and we want to look for a higher high you can see we've made a high here a higher high a higher high if we make another higher high and get back to these kind of valuations 0.5 uh we're we're talking we're talking over three thousand uh, dollar ethereum so that's just right here look where it has been if we could get back to these levels we'd be rocking so keep that in the back of your mind i appreciate you for staying around this long if you have follow us on twitter do some news updates on there about uh chain link and just rel relatively all crypto uh we have a telegram as well you can join that links below and if you want to learn a little bit more or private telegram access we have a patreon account you know you can find that in the link below as well try us out there uh, it's a monthly thing if you just want to learn a little bit more uh you want a little bit more uh, uh help from me i i'm i have a private telegram like i said uh I'm active in there every day. I'm happy to help you. All your questions are answered pretty quickly. And you, you, you I think you'll find it's well worth $35. And we have a great bunch of group of people in there. Uh, though all great people willing to help you out as well. So try us out. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much, guys.